if you're going around doing this stuff, you're actually rejecting God and you're going to get caught in the punishment. The freedom my wife and I live today, comparing to what we used to be a couple of years ago, so thank you. Uh, I'll try to be fast, not to speak too fast, because it's my habit. Um, uh, I, was <laughs> I was reading uh, lately in the first Thessalonian, Thessalonian, how do you say that? Thessalonian. I speak in Thessalonian. Yeah, <laughs> uh, in the chapter 4, uh, when he speaks, it's God's will that you should be sanctified, you should avoid uh, uh, sexual uh, immorality, blah, blah, blah. And uh, that, the part uh, that takes me is that in, in, in this matter, no one should wrong or take advantage of a brother. The Lord will punish those who, and who commit such sin. And I'm like, I, we just learned that. God forgave at the cross. God did not punish Jesus in our behalf. So who is Paul talking to? Because he, he seems to talk to the guys in Thessalonic, and then he says, God will punish those who commit this. And like, is he talking about those who will be punished in 70 or is he talking to them that will show forth from being not punished? It's, it's like, it's confused to me. So that's First Thessalonians 4, four yeah, the verse? verse 3 to... Um, to eight. No, uh, to six. Actually, the, the verse is in uh, yeah, verse six. The Lord will punish all those who commit such sins. So, are you in first year or second year? First. Okay. So, one of the things I get to later in first year, there's the last ten classes, which are the New Testament survey. So, uh, the last ten classes of first year is the New Testament survey and we cover every book of the New Testament, uh, except Revelation. So in that survey, one of the things I point out is anywhere that you find um, blameless and holy together, that phrase always is connected to the 70 AD judgment. And he talks about being blameless and holy, blameless and holy, blameless and holy. So at the end of, um, at the end of, chapter 3, 1 Thessalonians 3, the last verse, he says, May he strengthen your hearts so that you will be blameless and holy in the presence of our God and Father when the Lord Jesus comes with all his holy ones, which is parallel to what he says in Jude about that, and then in 2 Peter 3 about that, coming with his holy ones is a quote out of the book of Enoch about the judgment of Jerusalem. So, so we know he's talking in context about 70 AD when he says, punish when he says this is coming so as as we go down to chapter four he launches into what we're saying here it's god's will that you should be sanctified that you avoid sexual immorality that each of you should learn to control your body in a way that's holy and honorable not in passionate lust like the pagans who do not know god and that in this matter no one should wrong or take advantage of a brother or sister the lord will punish all those who commit such sins as we told you and warned you before, for God did not um, for God did not call us to be impure, but to live a holy life. Therefore, anyone who rejects this instruction does not reject a human being, but God, the very God who gives you His Spirit. So, what is He saying? He's not just saying He's going to punish Christians. He's saying if you if you're doing these sins, that you're actually rejecting God. That's what He was saying in in this letter is that if you're if you're going around doing this stuff you're actually rejecting God and you're gonna get caught in the punishment so you're actually gonna step outside the faith you're going to be an unbeliever and you're gonna get caught in the punishment because multiple times through this he talks about the punishment that's coming like for those that crucified our Lord he says in chapter 2 um, so he refers to a punishment that's coming over and over again I I don't believe he's talking about you'll be punished after death because technically then we're talking about like purgatory for a believer. 
Um, so, and we also, it doesn't seem to fit any context that he'd be punishing believers for wrong actions when he's also forgiven us for wrong actions. So there must be a punishment that was coming right around the corner, which he gets into because um, 1 Thessalonians 4 then goes into the getting caught up, what get, people talk about the rapture verses. That's later in the same chapter. So the whole context is right before 70 AD. So he's talking about a punishment that's physical, local, about to happen. He's saying if you walk away, you're going to get caught up in the punishment. Does that make sense? If so basically, if I can, if I try to apply it to my life today, I won't get punished if I commit such things. Right, and you can say the same thing but from in in Hebrews. No. <laughs> Sorry, you find a you'll, you'll have other problems. <laughs> other problems. But if if you jump over to Hebrews, it says basically the same thing that that if we if we turn away from the Lord, the punishment's right around the corner and we'll miss the escape. And that, that concept out of Hebrews 10 where it talks about if you keep on sinning, you're gonna end up hardening your heart, walking away from the Lord, you're gonna get caught in 70 AD destruction. So, so th it doesn't apply to us in the same way. Um, now when we do it, we would take the other parts of it that say uh, when you do this, you're grieving the spirit. So now it's not about punishment, it's about you're going to grieve the spirit and you don't want to do that. Does that make sense? Yeah. So our motivator now for not sexual immorality and everything else is a grieving of the spirit, not a fear of 70 AD punishment. I love creating content for you guys. The biggest thing that you could do as a favor back for me is to share this like crazy. If you want to keep up on it day by day, I would highly recommend that you download the phone app. And if you already have the phone app, tell somebody else to download the phone app and share this on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, whatever, however you want to share it. Help me out. Get it out there. Thanks so much.